Okay, so you can see I got this clamp down here, and I'm just going to peel this plastic back. Oh, hang on one second. We're not going to use this anymore. We're just all there's going to be is just a cover, basically, for the end of the lamp. And you don't want to be using your finest chisel on something like this. Still bound in there. There she is. Okay. All right, there's so there's one. And we'll get this other one out now. Chisel's definitely going to need a sharpening after I get done, done with this little deal here. Well, that's okay. I got the right tool for that too. Okay, so we just turn this into a from a receptacle into a plug, uh, just a cover. This can go back on the on the light after I get done. So there's my two plugs and here's my cover. This way up, this way. So there they are. All right, I'll pull the other cover off and uh, show you how I take care of that end. This being the female end, that being the male end. Hang on. Okay, I already got the 
screws out on this end and the the deal with this one is is that this has got a screw that holds this plug in there so lucky for me I'm going to use this screw as a replacement for that one I had to destroy Okay, so now this can be unplugged from the from the cap. I'm going to cut this flush, and I'm going to trim these off. Okay, I a little spike there. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up in some tape and push it back inside. Okay, so that just gets pushed back in there, like that, and now I'm going to take my Japanese saw and flush cut that, or not even flush cut it, just cut it off so it's fairly flush. Okay, this, this plastic cuts real easy. It doesn't take much at all. Where's oh. my, my grip here? Let me get this out on the edge of the table where I have more room. I will right, try this again here. Okay, my second cover. So you can see how I just flushed this up. Pretty simple. And then now it'll go back on the light end here. Like that. But before I do that, I got a. No, I guess I leave that cover on. I like thinking. Okay, here's a little tip for you. This is not a magnetic screwdriver, but if I put this little 
rare earth magnet on there, I can turn it into one and I won't lose my little my little tiny screw there. So we'll put this in here. Okay, and then let me show you how I drill this hole here. Hang on. Okay, you want to protect those wires, so what I take is I've got a little strip of three quarter inch plywood here, it's about three eighths of an inch thick, and I just slide that up on above the wires, and I know that it's long enough to reach past center, and then let me grab a tape measure here and mark, find my center. These things measure 47 inches. So 23 and a half. And I want to put a hole right there. I'm going to get one started here. And then I'm going to just work, uh, I'm going to use a uh, half inch bit here. Come on. Okay, so now I have my my access hole here, and I'm just gonna get my little hook to fish out those wires. Let me grab that. All right, this is nothing more than a piece of 14 gauge wire electrical wire I've got bent into a hook. So just gotta find one of them here. And get underneath it. Careful, this aluminum edge is sharp, but once you get it started, there.
right, we'll get the black one. Time. Hang on a second. Okay, now I did, uh, with my other light, I took some sheeting, and I'll show you how I do that here in one second. I took some sheeting off of this wire that I had laying around. Pull the paper out of it and just run it over the two wires here. And I gotta take them screws out. And that was a fortuitous bounce right into my drill case there, that's good. thread this one through. Hopefully. And this one's a little tougher because you got some stuff in there already, but there should be enough room. There we go. Okay, so what this does for me is gives me a little uh, added protection against that cut I made here with my with my drill bit into that aluminum. And then I'm also going to run some tape over this to hold that in place. my other end down here. Put those screws in. 
these posts on and we'll see how this uh, see how this thing lights up make sure it still lights up I guess All right, let me grab my cord. Now the red goes in the square one and the black goes in the round. LEDs take a little bit to warm up, but once they do, it gives off a nice bright light. So, all right, we're good. Now we can get to the woodworking. Here's how I'm going to remember this. I don't have to remember it, I'm just going to do this. where the black goes. I hope that doesn't rub off. I will see. Okay, let me get the electrical stuff put away and then we'll start working on the on gluing this stuff up or cutting it up and getting it put together. <laughs> 